that I wanted to talk a little bit about Project Zero, um, the process book, and I, I'm doing this to show a demo. So the question is, should I turn anything in for at the very beginning? Well, you turn something in at every assignment. So assignment zero, you don't. This is kind of informative. Notice there's no um, under schedule. Um, it'll be based on design projects. So keep it up to date. Keep putting in these different pages as you go. Um, and I'm suggesting that you design your page in InDesign. And I would choose, I would use an 8.5 by 11 or 11 by 8.5 without bleeds. And why is that's important is so if you ever need to print these out to do a physical portfolio to show this process book as part of your physical, um, you know, when you show your book to someone, um, this will be important and much easier to use at that point. So I'm going to go to InDesign right now. And for those of you who haven't used InDesign, it's so much like Illustrator, it's crazy. There's the text tool, the selection tool, the direct selection tool. Um, the, um, there's the type, you know, everything is basically, you're going to find the same layers so very very similar the only thing that's going to be different is this oops is this um, pages and the deal in InDesign is you can design a master page that becomes static elements when you so kind of like a uh, stationary basically so when you open up a new page, you have the stationary that doesn't move, and then you can just focus on the, the type. And you can do multiple master pages, like if you have a front page and then maybe a secondary page. Um, but that, that's kind of the idea. Um, to work on the master page, you're going to double click it. It'll turn blue. So I'm already looking at my master page here. If I want to look at like page um, two, I'll double click that. I know it looks the same, but you can see that it's blue lit. It's lit up under pages. Here's one. So this has one a proposal that I've written in here. And um, what I've done is I've styled. Um, let's go in a little bit. So I've styled um, a lot of this type. So now I can go in, so in place of this, let's say for you, you you would want to, let me bring up my guides. And I've done those in my master page too. I put guides together. Um, so when I'm ready to go on page two, I'm gonna use my type tool. Oops, let's get on the right layer. Make a new layer, okay. So, um, here we go. Okay, so there's my, um, I made a type box. It's ready to accept type. This is going to be, for me, assignment zero, or let's do one, Let's because this will be the first time you'll use it. Um, simple brochure cover design. And then let's say we'll put some type in here. So this is some type. Um, I'm going to make sure this is formatted because I'm going to go in and format this how I'd like it. So I'm going to use that same style. So what I've done is I've gone to my page one. And I like how oops, this is a little high right now, isn't it? Let's move that down. And this is a little low. I'm going to. Okay, so I like how I designed that. So what I did, I've made a, a paragraph style for that. And um, how you do that is you uh, will go to this properties um, palette and pop it out. And then when you're ready to define this, you you have let's say you've changed the type and the color and sizing and all that stuff, and you like where it is, then you choose this little plus right here. And you'll just key in um, header. 
So now if I go down to my page two and I want this to be styled as the same as um, that pr red proposal, I'll go to new header and that whole paragraph from return to return will be styled in that same style. And let's say I'm going to put just some type in here. Let me style that with, yeah, body's great. So let me drop in some um, placeholder text. And then I can format this with, it's already, I've already set it to, to body. So now, um, now I'm kind of ready to go. And then let's say I go to pages and I want a new page in here. And this one is going to be, um, my journal about this or my thoughts or feelings about it or how the project's going. So I'll, um, I'll go in here, I'll put a type, use my type tool, I'll draw a box. This will be um, assignment O, or sorry, one, um, um, journal. And then uh, I'll just drop some type about journal. Um, I'm going to change this to my new header and I'll change this to the body. And, and then we can just say, uh, just put some placeholder type in here, fill with placeholder text. It's below your window. So, and then now I'm ready to drop in, say, some thumbnails. So I might go to my pages and go to my next page, and now I'll just put in a um, small one, and I'll do um, assignment zero thumbnails. And then um, some copy here. So again, I'll just go back and style that as my new header. This one, I'll style as body, it's already there. And um, I'll actually, and you're gonna type this in, you're not gonna fill it with placeholder text, but maybe just for just for um, getting things designed correctly, you'll do that. And then to place some thumbnails, I'll go file, um, place, and I'll just kind of go through, let's see. Oh, no, 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 I, I have some, uh, some thumbnails in here, don't I? Okay, so I've, I've located my thumbnails and now I'll just um, click and drag to place that in here. Okay, so there's my thumbnails, some little text about what I've done. Um, and then, you know, that's how you proceed. That's how to make it really easy. Um, let me quickly talk about what I've done with within this area. And I'm going to go to my um, master page to talk about that. Because um, I, I have a, a logo that I've had for years that I've designed. And um, you can see a bunch of guidelines. How I get guidelines in here is I go up into one of these rulers and I drag out a line. And that's 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 a guideline. And what what's nice about it is I can align text to it. So you can see my this name, Chat Hunter Studio, and then these things align. But then they also are on. I've um, aligned a rule down here. Let me hide those guides that other type will align to. And then I have another guide on the left hand side of the logo and you can design it however you want to where I have my contact information down here. Um, and how I got what I did and I think this is an important thing that we'll cover later but just to show you how I did this is once I designed my logo I went to some major I went to major categories like or major I went to measurements. Um, that, that's not a tool but I just started measuring like this little gap in here I think is important. So how big is that? Well, it's this blue square. I made a square that size. 
and I used that measurement in my distance here. It wasn't arbitrary. It was a distance that already appeared here. And then I also used that for the size of this type here. That type size wasn't arbitrary either. It came from that size. So that feels like it fits together. It, it makes, it feels um, like there's some rhyme and reason to it. Why did I choose that distance from here to here? Well, that's the width of my logo. I just turned it on its side and put it here. So it's good to have some measuring sticks um, off of a logo or off of, maybe even if you just type it in, and then you can find measuring sticks off the type. Like um, this might be a measuring stick from, from the crossbar down. So that's an interesting height that you could use over and over. So is the cap height, h to h. So is the width, right, from, from there to there. And then so is the width of this letter, and maybe the negative space. Okay, so all these things you could use as measuring sticks um, and then help base decisions on those, on those measurements. So um, you'll probably refine um, the design of your project book as you go, but hopefully this, this will get you started in, um, and now I have a, a design that will just repeat. Let me just go to zero. So kind of hard to tell hide these guys. Um, And this will just make it so easy to put in new information and keep it organized and looking great. Okay? All right. Thank you very much.